What's up guys and welcome to my video. This video is all about buying monitors and whether you should be buying a monitor this year. Buying a monitor is kind of like buying the most important thing of your PC. While a lot of components in your PC are important, the monitor is the thing you're looking at at the end of the day, literally until the end of the day. So you should be buying a monitor that is at the top end of your budget and you should be making sure it's the right thing to buy. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean it's about getting the most for your money and it's about sensible buying. And I'm gonna to touch a little bit more on that in a minute. Now, if you didn't know, most new monitors are announced every year in January at an event called CES. CES is the Consumer Electronics Show. And this is where all the big boys come off and they show all their new tech, monitors being one of them. But monitors are the PC component that most people upgrade the least. They don't really tend to change that much year on year. If you think about televisions, it's all been about HD ready, 1080p HD, and it's only now we're starting to look ahead to different technologies and of course 4K. Now there's a big correlation between what happens in the monitor world and what happens in the TV world. At the end of the day, they're both different panel based screens. And your average monitor and your average TV these days are both 1080p. If you have a monitor that's less than 1080p, then really you should look at upgrading to a 1080p or high resolution monitor. But most people these days have either a 1080p, TN or IPS panel. There are higher resolution panels out there and those are 1440p panels and they have even more pixels than the 1080p brothers. So the question is, if you're sitting on one of these 1080p monitors like most of us are, when do you upgrade it? When is the right time to go, right, it's time to buy a new monitor, I'm gonna be getting a lot more out of a new purchase and that new purchase should be a monitor. Well, most monitors these days are still 1080p monitors. We're looking at about 60, 70% of the market, they're all 1080p monitors. Looking a bit higher, we are looking at 1440p monitors, which are a lot nicer and of course they are high resolution, but there are exceptions. A lot of portable devices like laptops are starting to be equipped with high resolution screens, Examples, of course, include the MacBook Pro with Retina display and the newly announced Razer Blade. They've all got higher resolution displays, which makes reading things like text really crisp and, of course, gaming is going to look better than ever. You can also get 1080p TN monitors, and TN is older technology that is more suited for gaming um, because you get higher response times, but with certain monitors, and we're talking a bit higher up the scale, you get um, 1080p monitors which have a higher refresh rate. I'm sure a lot of you know this already, but of course they go up to 1440 hertz, so you can get up to 144 frames a second in your game, and that will actually be displayed on screen, so you get a really nice, smooth experience because the difference between what your eyes see and what your arm is actually doing are nicely in sync, so it's nice and responsive, so it's a lot nicer gameplay experience. But while both 1440p panels and a higher refresh rate 1080p panels are great, there's something even better coming on the horizon. And of course, many of you know that. This is of course 4K, or as it's now known in some places, Ultra HD. And because this is coming, and it is actually here now in some really expensive um, high-end panels, or some cheaper panels which you can probably afford, but they're rubbish because their refresh rates are rubbish, so forget about those. But there are 4K monitors available, but most people will not be buying them. But what this signifies is that it signifies that next year and of course the year after and the year after that is all going to be about 4K. If we're talking about 4K now, it's definitely going to be a lot bigger thing in a couple years time. And as a monitor tends to sit on your desk between five plus years, if you buy one now, you might regret buying one if it's the wrong decision in a few years time. Of course, if you didn't know, 4K is double the horizontal lines double the vertical lines, which means that you have four times the pixels of a 1080p panel. That's a lot of extra pixels and it does make a big difference to everything you see. In TVs, they're saying you need really big screens to be able to get the most out of it, but when you're in a monitor, you're smack bang against the screen, and this is a 1080p TV here, and I can see all the pixels across the screen, no problem. Which means that if you buy a 1080p panel and then 4K panels come out, uh, affordable prices, you're probably going to regret the decision you made um, to get that 1080p one. And it's because these 4K panels are kind of out of reach to the majority of people at the moment, is why I say, if you can, please don't go upgrading your monitor. If you have a 1440p or 1080p panel, you're not going to be gaining that much out of your purchase. 
That's not to say if you have a panel that's really outdated, maybe you don't have a 1080p panel and you want to upgrade, maybe your monitor breaks, maybe you've got to give it away. There's many different reasons why you might need to upgrade your monitor. But if it's just because you've got a bit of disposable income about or you've been saving up a little bit of money to get a new monitor, unless you really need to, the benefits are not going to be that great unless you're, of course, going for a really high-end panel. So if you can, just wait a year. Wait a year, maybe two and you'll be able to get a lot nicer panel for your money. I would say that definitely in two years time, the majority of us should be able to afford a nice 4K monitor. When I say the majority, I mean sort of about the 300, 400 pound price range, maybe about the 500, 600 dollar price range. And if you're looking for a nice high resolution panel, that's the sort of thing you can be able to buy. So unless you really need to upgrade, I would say don't, just wait a bit and you'll probably not regret that decision at all. Of course, if you need to replace a panel, then there are nice monitors out at the moment. They're just not as nice as the ones that are coming out later. But, and there is a big but here, there is one exception. CES, my favourite thing, and if you watch my update series um, from CES, then you'll probably know what I'm about to say. There is one monitor which is an exception to this rule. And this is an Asus 120Hz, or it could be 144, they haven't actually stated yet, 1440p, TN panel. And this also has G-Sync. What does this mean? Well, it's the very first 1440p panel that goes over 60 frames a second. The majority of monitors are locked at 60 hertz, so 60 frames a second, which means that the refresh rate won't go over 60, which means that if you're playing really fast Twitch-paced games, so like Smite is a common one, Dota, anything like that, you know, Call of Duty, bit example, they really do benefit from the higher refresh rate, the higher amount of frames per second. It's just because it's easier to play, it's smoother, and it's easier to get all the kills or whatever it is you're doing in the game. And while this new monitor is only a TN panel, it is the very first monitor that I personally would want to upgrade to. I have a 120Hz 1080p monitor, and I have a 1200p monitor that I use for editing. And while I'd like a nice 1440p panel, I just haven't bought one, plainly because I know 4K is coming. So this is the very first monitor that is actually tempting for me to buy because it's got everything I need. The majority of graphics cards can't run 4K games. Of course you'll be able to benefit um, from loads of different things on a 4K panel, but you won't really be able to benefit from 4K gaming unless you either dial the settings back or if you have a stupid amount of graphics horsepower. So having a 1440p panel, which is going to be higher resolution to what the majority of us are used to, and being able to benefit from that higher refresh rate pretty much means it's the perfect gaming monitor. And of course it's got G-Sync, so it's going to rapidly change um, its refresh rate. So if you're getting 68 frames a second, it will refresh at 68 frames a second. It's clever NVIDIA technology and it is coming very soon. So I'll leave a link in the description below for this monitor. It's not yet out as is the price. We don't know what it's going to cost, but I'll be sure to update you near the time because I definitely want to get my hands on one of these. So to sum up, Monitor is a big decision. It's the sort of thing that you're going to get the most use out of because it's the thing you're looking at all day, but it's also quite a bit of an expense. So why spend that expense on something you don't need to really get when there's something better on the horizon? If you want to know more about the monitors I own, then there are on the channel and I'll leave a link to the Dell one in the description below. If you have any questions about 4K, about upgrading your monitor, upgrading any part of your PC, then be sure to leave a comment below or send me a private message. If you think this video has been useful, as always, leave a like and hopefully leave a comment, say why you liked it. And if you didn't like it, you didn't think it was that useful, you thought, you know, what's his um, qualifications, what does he know? Leave a comment below as well, as well as disliking the video. It all helps and it all helps me produce better content. And of course the content, it's not about me, it's about helping you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to PC Centric for more videos like this. This video is actually posted as I am away in Sardinia at the moment. That was all automatic, clever stuff. Um, so I won't be able to answer emails for a few days. I don't mind having the backlog, so do send me some private messages if you need any help. And literally a day after filming, this has happened. Samsung have launched a new 28-inch budget Ultra HD or 4K monitor. This is one of the first budget monitors that actually has a 60 hertz refresh rate if you power it over DisplayPort 1.2. What does this mean? Well, it means it actually is the first budget 4K panel that you might want. The downsides, it is a TN panel, and personally, I'd definitely have to see it 
um, before I make judgment, but a TN panel associated with a higher end 4K panel kind of means that the colors and stuff won't be as good as they will be on an IPS panel. But on a gaming point of view, um, it will still be locked at 60 hertz, which is absolutely fine for the majority of games, and you'll be able to get the 4K resolution. Of course, if it was a 120 hertz TN panel that was at 4K, you probably wouldn't be able to power it anyway. So I'll give you more on this as I know, but it's nice to know that budget 4K monitors are definitely happening, and if they're happening at this price at the TN level this year, definitely next year we're going to see some exciting new monitors. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.